So we're approaching the end of 2021 and it's been quite an interesting year in the stock market and cryptocurrency market to put it mildly. Without a doubt Tesla was one of the biggest winners here in the last couple of months in the stock market running from about $650 in August to now sitting at just about $1,000 and even reaching as high as $1,230 but of course December has proved to be a bit of a poor month for the stock market and cryptocurrency market so far so we've seen most things have a bit of a pullback. But anyway, what this video is about is basically going to be my price prediction for Tesla for 2022 and also give an insight into where I think the stock price could be at in 2025 as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now remember, nothing is guaranteed when it comes to investing. So these are all my own opinions. Please do not consider any of this financial advice. Make sure you do all your own research. And for full disclosure, I currently own about 28 and a half shares of Tesla, which is about 85% of my stock portfolio or so. So if you're excited for this video, if you could take a second to scroll down and drop a like on this video would really help out the channel. And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. So currently Tesla is sitting at just about a $1 trillion market cap with a stock price of just about $1,000. Its PE ratio as of today is 346. And yes, I know that is an extremely high PE ratio factoring a lot of optimistic growth for the company. But ever since I started investing in Tesla, probably nearly two years ago now, people have been saying the PE ratio is just crazy and they wouldn't touch the stock. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. So please spare the arguments of the PE ratio is too high. I already know, but if that was the case, we wouldn't touch half of the things in the stock market. So let's take a look at Tesla's most recent Q3 results, just to get an understanding of where the company is currently at. So Q3 for Tesla saw them bring in 13.8 billion in revenue, which was up 57% year on year. And as always seems to be the case with Tesla, these results beat the analyst estimates. During this period, the company had a record production of 237,000 cars while delivering 243,000 cars. They also saw a 46% year over year increase in their energy business as well. That statistic there with their produced cars and delivered cars is absolutely crazy. It just shows that every single car Tesla is making, they're selling pretty much instantly. We can even look at the recent Hertz deal that was announced where basically Elon Musk came out and said it doesn't really matter if the deal falls through or not because every single car they make has a buyer on the other end. So it doesn't really matter if these are going to the Hertz company or they're going to individual consumers, they'll be sold at the same price and the demand is there. It's obviously an extremely good position that the company are in that they're not relying on these deals with other companies because the demand is already so high. Tesla themselves have come out and said they see a 50% annualized growth rate over the next couple of years. But of course, this will depend on other factors out of their control, such as the supply chain issues that we've seen over the last kind of year and a half, two years. And they still have the cyber truck to come out as well, which will probably be near the end of 2023 or 2024. So lots of revenue streams coming down the line with their models. And just to take a look at their current gigafactories across the world, we'll go ahead and list them out right here. So the current gigafactories are New York, Shanghai, Nevada, and Fremont. We also have the Austin, Texas one in production as well as the Berlin gigafactory as well. And there are plenty more gigafactories rumored to be in the pipeline as well. Tesla as a company is in an extremely strong position. As I said, not only with the demand for every car they're producing has a buyer on the other end, but they're also industry leaders when it comes to autonomous driving and AI. And I can definitely see down the line Tesla producing drivetrains for other companies because they simply will not be able to catch up with the technology. As well as that, I wouldn't be surprised if they license out their autonomous driving as well to these other auto manufacturers simply because they're just years and years behind and Tesla is a constantly moving target, so I never see them catching up. I'm sure a lot of people have seen the Tesla bot as well, but I won't take that into consideration for my price target for 2022 because that is definitely some years out, but it just shows you the kind of ideas that Tesla are thinking about here and the revenue that this could lead to in the future if it is a success is just absolutely astronomical. And I think Tesla are one of the best situated companies in order to take advantage of the AI revolution. Current analyst estimates on tip ranks range from about $280 to $1,580, with the average being around $940 in the next 12 months. Myself, I see Tesla sitting at $1,500 by the end of 2022. But even if it does reach that price by the end of 2022, I will not be selling out of my position. Tesla is one of those stocks where I plan to buy and hold and hold and hold, definitely for the next 10 or 15 years, because I think the stock price on this could go absolutely crazy. For example, in 2025, I could see Tesla reaching a stock price of over $5,000 per share. Now, a lot of people may think that's absolutely crazy, but let's just wait and see what happens. Some of you may be watching this right now wondering, with Tesla at $1,000, is that too high a price to buy in right now? So what I would say to you on that question is have a think of where you think the Tesla stock price is going in the next two or three years. 
Do you think it'll be worth more than 1,000 during that time frame? And if so, maybe it would be a good buy. I know for me, that's what I think. Again, coming back to the 2025 price target of around four and a half, five thousand dollars $5,000. Anything I can get below that price within reason, I think will be a good buy for me long term. So that's it for this video guys, I would love to hear your opinions on Tesla down in the comment section below. Where do you see the stock price going in 2022 and feel free to give some further estimates if you want to as well down in the comments. As I said, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and drop a like on it and consider subscribing to the channel as well, it really would mean a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in another video.